So just for fun, I like to talk about things that don't exist anymore. So this is an old photo of someone who's pumping gas. We don't see this very often anymore. So we're going to just for fun talk about things that don't exist anymore. All right? Things that don't exist anymore. Just for fun. So let's have some fun together and share things that don't exist anymore. So I've already shared with you uh, one thing, and that is the attendants pumping gas. They don't seem to exist anymore, do they? Gee, it seems like they were just here. And now they're gone. Isn't that something? They were just here. And now they're gone. Well, I can really relate to that. Because there have been things in my life that have been here and then they're just sort of gone. Uh, it happens all the time. To all of us. Something that's just here, and then it's just gone. Now sometimes things come up uh, rather quickly, and then they're gone rather quickly, which is really surprising. Really surprising. Because sometimes they don't even really get started. Like, like what I'm saying, some things don't even really get started. And then they're gone. Well, there you are. There's the guy pumping the gas. And that's gone. Everybody pumps their own gas. I don't know. If you've had something that's, that's been taken from you, why don't you share it with me too? But, you know, sometimes people have things that mean a lot to them and then they're just gone. Well, let's take another example. Alright, well, let's take this example. Now, one time we did see nuns in habits. I don't know, have you seen any in their, in their natural habits? I haven't, I haven't seen any for a long, long time. They might still be out there but um, I haven't really seen them. Maybe you have. So I'm saying that's something that was here and is gone. But you know, the nuns uh, have wanted to stick around and really, you know, have a part in somebody's life. And it was going to be, they, they, go, they were going to live a very meaningful life. And I guess they still do, but a lot of them don't wear the habits anymore. So, um, you know, they, they were going to be a, a real source for people to go to and be able to identify things. Because they're, they're, they're good educators, uh, the nuns, good educators. And uh, they can be very helpful to people in helping them to uncover some of the lies and misnomers of life by using their faith. Okay? So anyhow, um, let's go to something that I think has been a real, um, real big thing that, that it was it was it was around all the time when I was growing up, and indeed when I was a little bit younger than I am now. And the young people may not realize it, but at one time these were pretty popular. Yes, pay phones. I actually did a video on this on one of my other channels. I forget where I put it in what channel, but. Uh, I actually found a, a payphone still in existence, an actual working payphone. Uh, 
They're very, very hard to find. And when you find one, it's like making a major discovery. Uh-huh. A major discovery. That's right. You make a major discovery when you find an actual pay phone. And it rings a bell. <laughs> Quite literally, it rings a bell. All right? And then when the bell rings, everybody around is like, Oh, let's answer that phone. Let's answer that phone. And then somebody decides, you know what? We don't need a phone anymore. So they rip it out. <laughs> they ripped it out. The phones. That used to be there. They ripped them out. And uh, I'm not so sure that, you know, all the stuff that people, I'm not so sure that people realize the value of a phone that was once there and then it's gone. I mean, it served a lot of value because people could call it up, use it, call it up, and they could find out who is who in their community by making phone calls and you know once they would dial a number and the other person would answer they would know who that was now I know it sounds a little silly but once again uh, you know such is life I guess you've got a lot of things going on and things disappear like the phones, okay, like the nuns, okay, like the guys pumping gas. Uh, they disappear. They disappear. They disappear. And sometimes things disappear before they even get started. You know, if it's a fad that's not going to catch on, uh, it, it could disappear very quickly. Like uh, Cabbage Patch Babies. They disappeared just as fast as they came. All right. So you can have a very, very hot item, so to speak. A very, very hot item like a Cabbage Patch doll or something like this and maybe just a few people want them but then again uh, it's, it's going to be gone and if for chance you should have an item that's like really important really important and the marketing community knows it's going to be successful the companies around may take that item off the market uh... you can probably think of better examples than i can but let's just take something that might have been really useful and really helpful to the world like um, say a car that that runs on on water converting the water into energy which I believe there are a few of them and they're taken down it's just taken down quickly just like the phone booth and the phones if if you connect with someone on the other end of the line you know that that you that you made a connection and when they realize who they're talking to they may hang up on you and get rid of you <laughs> so you got pay phones and you got uh, 
those who wear the habits or the nuns. I don't see... Now, the nuns are still out there, but I really don't see too many of them wearing these old, what they call habits, the suits that they wore back in the 60s, 50s and 60s. I don't really see much of that at all. Which reminds me of the uh, old television show called The Flying Nun. I don't know if any of you can remember that. But uh, the gas station attendants pumping gas. Gone. So, it's a little bit of a sorrow that some of these things are gone. But, you know what? We just keep trying. Keep it going. And I do want to say uh, thank you to all of you. Uh, so basically, when you're on to something major, you become minor. <laughs> well, anyhow, it's all about blessings. Blessings to you in Christ Jesus, and to Christ Jesus be honor, praise, and glory. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. End of video.